On this episode of Cash Canada, we're on our way to Sook, BC. And we're gonna go have a sip in Sook. Yeah. This is Victoria. This is Vancouver Island. So you mentioned we're going to have a sip in well, Sook. Maybe we'll have a few sips. I think you know we have one right here. <laughs> here we go. We're at the Sook Oceanside Brewery, and it's the first stage of one of the adventure labs. Yeah, so we're going to stop in the adventure labs and just get a taste. And yes, we do have to taste. Yeah. Because that's why the not. Point. You yeah. know, what's the point of just going to a brewery, collecting the info, and moving on? You need to get a taste. Yes. So here we go. Bottoms up. Mmm. A bit of hot. It's got a nice little fruit flavor. Yeah. It's, or it's kind of a, a bit of a citrus. All right. Off to the next one. at the Sook Brewing Company, yep. having a taste. And, oh, did you get the answer to this one? I did. Oh, cool. It was almost the same question as the first one. So imagine that. I wonder if they're gonna be like that in the whole time. It's something about lights. Um, should've had flavors of beer. Holy doodle. <laughs> Cheers, off to the next stage. Another Adventure Lab takes us on the journey of the spirit of Sook, BC. And we're collecting answers as we go from one Adventure Lab to another, from location to location. finished up our labs at the breweries and another one in that area and now we're going on a walk to see a lighthouse. There's no caches here, it's just a cool place to go and explore. Come along with us. than 100 years, the Sheringham Point Lighthouse has stood tall above the rocks and reefs of the island coastline, marking the passage into safe harbor at Sook and Victoria. Its presence has saved countless lives and provided great comfort for generations of mariners and those who make their living from the sea. watching the waves, a couple of seals showed up. There wasn't a geocache down by the lighthouse, but there is one here up by the car park. And I'm determined to get this one because you don't have a traditional geocache yet for this episode. So let me see, where would it be? Lots of rocks and signs. I wonder. Aha. Uh -huh. 
I see it. There it is. It's a double duty in a bag. Awesome. That's a good construction. I like that. It was made by Quick Casher. That's a good one. And I've hidden one in uh, kind of a location just like this in behind a hiking sign. Yes, tuck her in like that. Boom. Good one. First one to find on the spit is a traditional. There's some adventure labs and a virtual and an earth cache at the very end. So we're just gonna wander along, get the caches. We'll see you at the end. The hint is where two rocks connect with rock cover. I mean, come on. Lyric Glass and I are both not fans of rock caches whatsoever. We do give a bit of a try, but on this one, we're just gonna leave it and move on. It's not worth the aggravation. Mm. Who hasn't found a cache in an Altoids container? This is not my first one. So we've come to the end of the spit and we're gonna work on the questions for the earth cache and it's quite involved. Yeah, so we got to get some definitions yep. and get some information from that. Yep, it's been a great day of geocaching here in BC, and we have uh, some more adventures to come. But right now, on this episode, we'll leave you here on the spit. Keep watching, there's more caches to be found. Where will geocaching take, take you? you? Now, what do we have to answer? We yeah. have to answer, what does the proxel mean? And it gives it the 